Phil, another dramatic afternoon at the Stoke High Rass and a 3-2 win against Salford City. You must be delighted with the win. Yeah, of course, so pleased with the win. It was one of those days where the sun was low and it was kind of a little bit of a lacklustre feel, feel to the game. And, um, we didn't play with the quality I really wanted in that first period, but we still had some good moments and, and good chances. And I've just felt that if we up the quality in our play and our decision making, you know, at half time we'd have a great chance to, to go in and win the game. And if you look at the game, we've had all the best chances really. There's one save at the second half from Arthur, which was an outstanding save. But we've had a lot of good chances, and you know, I felt if we got, got it to 2 2, um, the momentum was, would be really with us and, and we'd go and win the game and, and that's what happened and obviously special mention to the subs because you know on days like that where you just need a lift of tempo and energy uh, they really gave us it. That's what you're saying they're big players big moments and Stephen Fletcher and Jordan Davis have come right to the fore haven't they? Yeah Jordy you know, he's had two headers which is textbook kind of um, moments which he was unlucky not to score one I think the keeper saved the other one went wide and um, and then finally got his goal. He, he's got great self-belief. And obviously Fletcher's had a chance as well, which um, Keeper's made a, a fantastic save, I think, with his legs. And then he's, he's got his goal and he gets in where all good strikers do. They get in the six-yard box and uh, you know, it's a really big moment for us. It's another one of them afternoons where, similar to Doncaster and crew, where the more chances that come our way and we get close, does it almost feel for you like we're going to score when we get to the latter stages? Uh, well, they, they looked, Salford looked on the last legs, I have to say that. They put a lot of effort into it and, and our subs kind of gave us that bit of freshness. And you felt if there was a team going to go and score, it was us. Obviously, they've always, always carried that threat on the break because they've got a bit of pace, especially on that right-hand side. Um, so, yeah, you know, listen, we, we're so pleased with the win. It, you know, it keeps our run going. Uh, the lads are working incredibly hard and, um, you know, it's another great example of, of what the club's all about. The opposite of the pitch, Aaron James made his league debut for the club and another sign again as we spoke in midweek about how good progression that academy status has got now. Yeah, it's very important because you know we had four players who could have played wing back out today. You know Mendy, uh, Barney, you know, Fordy obviously, and Andy Cannon can also play there. And if we don't give Aaron a chance in, in those circumstances, he's never going to get an opportunity. And I felt he deserved it. He's been outstanding in the way he's trained and conducted himself. So I thought he did well. I thought he did really well. Um, you know, obviously, we, we brought him off when he we fatigued a bit in the second period. But you know, obviously, we know we're all about the now and we want to win and, and be close to the top of the league. But also, there is one eye on the future of the club as well. And giving Aaron the opportunity today is a great lift for everybody in the academy. And you know, the youth team have, have had some great results of late. I think they've won three or four on the bounce and they've, they've been terrific. And it's great for us on Tuesday to reward a couple of those players. And same today with Aaron's full debut. We all saw what Stephen Fletcher did in the last few minutes against Crew. Today he's done the same again, got himself a goal. Just shows the real big threat that he is, especially at the end of a game like this. Yeah, I mean, he's a class player. He's, um, he's come in, obviously missed pre-season. Um, and then he's had a problem with his knee, which he had to have some fluid drained off. So he hasn't trained as much as he'd have liked in the last 10 days, so to speak. But listen, he's an absolute class player and he showed that when he came on. And a great moment for Jordan as well, getting the winner, building on his performance in midweek. Yeah, I thought Jordy was really good on, on Tuesday, really good. And that's, uh, you know, that performance a crew was very important for us and, and none more so than Jordan Davis. And you, know, you always feel with Jordy that he can get goals. And um, two years ago, he got 20 uh, from midfield. Um, he's, a, he's a goal scorer, you know, he's a real threat. As you said, all about momentum and today's win continues that heading into Bradford next weekend. Yeah, what a great game that's going to be now next week, Bradford. Be a terrific crowd there. They've won today. It's one of the few results that I've seen. Um, yeah, can't wait. You know, go go there, and you know we we're getting a nice bit of form together, and uh, we've got players will be back available for next week, which is really important. Thanks, Phil. Congratulations.